Welcome back, everyone. So I have something very, very exciting, and I'm hoping you're excited too because you did choose to click on the video. It is an unboxing of the international model of the LG Chocolate in pink, and is the KG800. Original box. I'm assuming original accessories as well. I did take a look at this when I got it in the mail because honestly, if I do an unboxing just straight away in front of the camera, I feel like I don't actually experience it. I mean, like I'm having a good time unboxing this. I just feel like sometimes doing something for the first time while making a video, it's like you're kind of present for the video and then you're also kind of present in real life. But for something like this, it's literally my favorite phone like the LG Chocolate series. If you haven't already been able to tell on my channel, I love the chocolate. And the pink chocolate especially, I mean, this is my favorite phone of all time. And to have this international model, it's a version of the chocolate I've never got to see in person before. I really just wanted to just open it, you know what I mean? But this is my chance to really get to look at it again. So just a run around with the packaging, I do have an LG Shine also in pink that I'm going to do an unboxing of. And it's really fun because this box is very similar. So I think a lot of the LG phones, international versions had these really nice boxes. And I used to have the, the working version of this phone. I did an unboxing of on my channel many years ago. So it's still on my channel and you can view it. But the boxes that like the US version of the chocolate came in, were just like standard Verizon boxes. They didn't look any different than any other Verizon phone they would have had launched at that time. It just had, you know, a black box and a picture of the chocolate phone. These are so much different. This is like a full on brand experience. So that is very cool to me. Okay, so on the front here, got the model name, the chocolate in pink, lgmobile.com, KG800. Up here, some device information, serial numbers, etc. This gives a little overview. Slim, the touch sensitive controls, camera, MP3, Bluetooth. And then here, it shows product design award of 2005. I was trying to find the exact date of when this phone came out. I was pretty excited to do this video, so I didn't dive into it too much, but it looks like the pink color came out in 2006. So I'm going to assume the original chocolate launched in 2005. I know the original chocolate for Verizon launched in 2006. And I know the international version came out before. So we're just going to go roughly with the dates I just mentioned. Okay, so this is very fun. You slide this off. Like that. I love they made these pink on the sides. It just looks really good against that. It's very minimal and clean, which is what the design of the chocolate was. I'm just gonna carefully. So it has this like fake carbon fiber and the back of it's just cardboard or stock paper. You're greeted with this very nice red section. Here's the phone. I feel like I'm gonna crop that. So here's the phone. It still has its um, little protective thing on here, which I am gonna leave that. I feel like I mean, like I want to enjoy it as well, but I can't bring myself to remove it just yet if I ever choose to. It's very special. It still has that, but you still get a good idea of what the color is. And this keypad, really, really like this. I like that it has this two-tone for the buttons. And this is very smooth and silky. It's got this little chrome accent here. And then on the back, it shows sliding. And this sticks out. So if you're familiar with the chocolate line, I'm going to be comparing this to like the chocolates I know. And this is like... Just really exciting to be able to see like this was the original chocolate design overall it's just this one's in pink and not black 
But on here, you know, this is what we got in the U.S. as our chocolate. And growing up, this is all I knew. If I ever Googled chocolate when I was younger, this one I was just confused by. Because I was like, well, this is the chocolate. Like, what is this? Well, this is also a chocolate. But this is what we got as our first generation in the U.S. on Verizon. So while similar in concept, quite different. I mean, the colors are substantially different. But just overall design, you know, this does have the touch sensitive controls. This is a dummy unit, so these are lit up, even though it's not, you know, but these would turn off similar to how these would. Though these left more of um, an impression when the phone was turned off because they kind of grayed out or were kind of clear. But this one really just blends in when it's off, which is pretty cool. But I do still love this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the side, but. As we open up here, I'll put the battery in and things like that. So you get this little tray cover thing. You got this, and I'm assuming this is what came with it, um, but potentially not, but you got this little LG bag. And these are metal, little drawstring bag, which I didn't look if there's anything. No, there's nothing in there but your phone would fit right in there. Got the battery, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in the, the device. I do know the phone turns on because I tested it. I thought this was pretty cool how it slides in instead of just like clips in. Let's see if I can get it. This kind of reminds me of like a Power Ranger toy I had when I was little. Uh, the power button's over here. Oh, yeah, so power button, um, MP3 button, and the volume up and down. And then the charger. Where'd it go? It's up there. But the cover is missing for the charger. Okay, I'll plug this in in just a little bit for you guys. We'll just carry on with that. But I really like how smooth this is. But getting back also... This design reminds me a lot of the Chocolate 2. This was the VX8500. The VX8550 was the second version of the Chocolate in the US. And that one reminds me a lot of this design. Its camera bumped out like this. It was all smooth. It had its chrome right there. So and it's, it's a lot lighter, I feel like, too. I can't confirm that. This one is to actual weight of the real phone, this one here. But this one does feel lighter at least to me. And the chocolate too was lighter than the original. So I feel like they definitely favored the design of the original chocolate international model with the second version. So you have some headphones, they say LG. That's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So I'm not sure if this even has a two and a half, which is pretty, Funny to think, you know, like a music phone doesn't have even a two and a half. So these must have just came like included extra in this listing. I bought this used and I do not know the original unboxing experience of this phone to know what actually came with it. We have some LG headphones definitely look to be vintage. I mean, they remind me of like really old Apple headphones. But it looks like the only way to connect music or only way to connect headphones was this proprietary port. And I also don't see a micro SD card spot. All right, we got this little charm, which is really cool. This would attach on to wipe down the screen with, like a little microfiber cloth. And it matches the pink color. Got this cable, which there's that proprietary end that fits into the phone, and then USB. Got these little mini discs, which were like really popular at this time. Here we've got the booklets. Which these are really fun. These little quick start guides. I have not got to look through this yet. Oh, here. 
I like when they show like the wallpapers and stuff, which they use this wallpaper on a lot of LG phones. My original phone that I had was the LG VX8600, which was kind of like the flip chocolate for Verizon before the, um, like the official flip chocolate was like the chocolate three, which ended up being a flip phone. But mine was kind of like the flip version of this. It didn't have the circle, but it was like in the same like design language scheme, but it was a flip phone. And my phone had that wallpaper, the one I just showed you on here. And brings back some memories of owning that phone. Ugh, why can I not find it? There's another picture of it. But this is in a nice shade of pink. It's almost like between red and pink. But it... There you can kind of tell. But I love just the coloring of all this stuff. It's really something. I just, I love this phone. Here it comes in a few different languages. I like the yellow and it reads more pink in person for sure. And like, that's the pink phone black label series, which the LG chocolate was the first phone in the chocolate or sorry, in the black label series. And then the LG shine was, I believe the second, and it has a similar looking box to this, which I will get that video up soon, which I'm excited to do that one as well. Right here, just some information about the phone. Right here, it says carry the phone in the pouch to protect it from scratches. So that phone pouch was original to this phone. And then use the hand strap. Use the hand strap to clean the phone surface. So that's that little charm. And then, oh yeah, I didn't show you these. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I understand now. Let me show you the rest of this first. And you can kind of pause if you wanna look at any of these. The chocolate came with these two, like the US version, but I, um, I really remember this kind of packaging, like this little thing included with the chocolate too. You have to look back at my original unboxing of this phone. I don't know if I had a quick start guide or not. I don't know. Now I'm curious. I'm going to have to rewatch it too. It was a long time ago. Okay, so. These headphones that I showed you here would have went into this adapter. So this is what plugged into the side of the phone that was the proprietary port. This is the three and a half millimeter jack that these headphones would have went into. Interesting approach. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead uh, this phone did come with a charger, but I could not get it back in the box once I opened it up yesterday. Let me go grab the charger that was included, and I'll also get the U.S. version charger that I have to use because the one that came with this had the European-style plug for it, was this one. So you can see it has the plug there. And that's the kind where you cannot swap out so this is just always going to be like that some of them have like a little thing where you can swap that out and put in a us based one but this one doesn't but i'm obviously keeping it and i wrote which phone it came with because i do have some different chargers around i like to keep track of which one came from which phone so let's go ahead and plug this in I just love how these light up. And I'm gonna let you hear the sound of the phone turning on and then also the sound of all of these that I can get to function. Looks like, looks like this was on the carrier orange. I've heard of it but I'm not familiar with it enough to know what region that is for. This is what you hear when you hit the, the power button or the end button. I 
okay, we don't want to do an SOS call, but I do not have a international SIM that this phone recognizes. I do have, and this takes like a, a like a full size old style SIM card, which I do have one of those, but it's for the service Tello. And it must be either too new of a service type, like a connection type for this phone to recognize it, or it wants an international one, which one day it'd be cool to get one of those like 2G or 3G cards to put in here. Because unfortunately with some of these, you do run into the problem of if you don't have a SIM card, you can't go into its operating system. And I would love to listen to the ringtones and look at the wallpapers. Like I would, I would absolutely love that. That's one of the best parts about looking at old phones. This one, I'm not able to do that. The old Verizon phones, you got away with not having SIM cards to be able to look at that stuff because they didn't take SIM cards. But these, you run into that problem. But you do. I like, um, this reminds me of kind of like Samsung phones at the time too, but. So these I can't get to do anything. I think it's because like there's no menu for this to respond to or something since I'm not in the actual menu of the phone. But at least these work. I remember my flip phone would make that noise when I'd hit the touch sensitive controls in the front of that. And these chocolates also made similar sounds in addition to their own sounds. Some of these are unique to this one that I don't remember from that chocolate. Not really giving that chocolate much attention. Like I need to. Sorry, but like pink is just pink is pink. And original black chocolate though is extremely iconic. I mean, seeing these in the ads, I just I was in love with this phone since the very beginning. I just think it is just great. And I love the red with the black when those would glow just amazing everything really blended well nicely on the black like the best because when these keys were off and then they lit up red it was just so striking and so sleek so i need to give this one more credit and more attention because i'm going to go ahead and unplug it i'm very excited to own this phone with it having its box i knew it was time to purchase one I'm definitely on a pink phone kick more than usual. I just feel like I've come across quite a few good units that I just haven't been able to pass up. And pink phones are my favorite to talk about because they were my favorite ever since I was little. And having these and being able to see this phone for the first time in person and have it be in pink with the box is just a really, really cool experience. And I love being able to show off these phones and kind of preserve the history and archive them, you know, at the same time. So hopefully if you had this phone or you never got to see this phone in person before, uh, either way, I mean, it will bring back some memories for you. And it's just a way to see and relive this time period in phone history. And even by today's standards, the design of these iconic phones they're still awesome. I mean, they look so good and we forget about how old these phones are, you know. They're not quite 20 years old yet, but they're approaching almost 20 years old. So go ahead and power this. Power that down. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is a treat. I absolutely love doing these and just even the research of like trying to find them and search for different ones. There's always probably going to always be a phone that's on my, my wish list or one I'm still keeping an eye out for, which I do have quite a few right now that I am still looking for. And you best believe when I find them, you're going to see them as well. If you like these videos, definitely give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I love doing throwback things. I also do current videos as well. Until next time, I'll see you.